Hey, welcome to Chasing Sunshine by Veronica. I enjoy thrifting, upcycling, making things beautiful. If you're interested in that type of content, stick around. First things first, start off by washing down my little jewelry box there with just regular Dawn dish soap and water. I'm gonna go back to my old faithful white swan DIY paint. The second color I'm going to put on is also just a thin layer of a little bit of bohemian blue and white swan mixed together to kind of make that pale duck egg type of color. Um, you know, these first few layers basically are just getting paint on there and some of them don't even show through. And it was kind of like a waste of time, but you know, when you're actually layering paint on it's just a process and it's an artistic process and you really don't know exactly what you're going to get in the end but you got to work through each step as they come and just get them on there and it'll it'll all work out in the end so i'm layering on some white there to kind of soften it up a bit and that's a white swan by diy <laughs> and then you kind of see me coming back in with a little bit of that glue I'm just darkening up the centers. So I just kind of went back and forth, back and forth, and uh, that's what you gotta do sometimes to get what you want. Now I'm applying some wax, some homemade wax that I made out of caravan wax, baby oil, and beeswax. Um, just layering it on there so that I can put some Dixie dirt in next. And this is Earth by Dixie Bell. It's a great product. I really enjoy using it. It's essentially a loose powder. You put the wax on first so that it has something to grab a hold of. Then you layer it in where you want it and wipe it away. So after I got all the Dixie dirt in where I wanted it, I came in with a little bit of white wax from DIY and lightened up the areas there. Then I took my little palette knife and I scraped away just a little bit, just doing a little bit of distress. And now that it's all distressed, I'm gonna come in with some gilding wax. I typically like silver, but I come in with gold this time and it's a really beautiful gold color. Um, I just kind of highlight here and there until I feel like it's evenly balanced and looks pretty. Um, again, I'm not much of a gold girl. I thought I would just give it a try and step out of my comfort zone. I do think it's pretty. Um, but I like silver myself. Okay, one of the last steps that I do is I use that gold acrylic mixed in with some glass bead gel. Lay it over the stencil there and I, I use this new squeegee that I got, which I really like. Um, it didn't damage the stencil at all and it, it glided over quite smoothly, so I'd highly recommend it. Getting one of those. Yep, and so that's pretty much it. <laughs>